A lawsuit has now been filed against the state health department as parents and students push to reinstate winter contact sports. Right now, those sports have been delayed until at least February 21st, but some families are now saying that delay is harming their students' well-being. Our Zach Herrig reports on that tonight. The Let Them Play Coalition is now taking the next steps towards fighting for a winter sports season, filing a lawsuit on Tuesday morning against the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. The opportunity for the student athletes to compete is narrow, and we felt it was time to uh, make sure that everyone had the same sense of urgency that our student athletes, parents, coaches, and school administrators have. Peter Rudell of Honigman LLP is the main attorney in the suit and says high school sports should be allowed right away. We have opened restaurants, we've opened bars, we've opened casinos, we've opened all sorts of indoor activities that are allowed. Why not high school sports? Rudell says the data and science show that high school sports can be played safely, which was the first of six focuses in the lawsuit documents, along with educational reasons and missing out on scholarship opportunities. This is for the best interest of the student athletes. They need to be on the court for their mental health, their emotional health, their physical health, and their long-term uh, education and career pathways. Among the plaintiffs listed is the family of Brennan Detloff, a Mona Shores hockey player who died on January 18th in a single car crash. The family says his depression was pushed over the edge by not having winter sports. The Detloff family in Mona Shores contacted us very early on when um, we were hired and inquired about participating in any actions that we may take. With so many athletes, coaches, and parents anxious to get the season going, Rudell admits there's no real timetable for the lawsuit. Judges control the docket. Judges control a lot of the timing. So we'll just have to wait and see how quickly this can get resolved. Zach Herrick, Fox 17 News. All right, thank you for that, Zach. And the health department says again, comment on the pending lawsuit, but it did issue a statement saying in part, quote, as the numbers in Michigan continue to decline and as the governor has already indicated, the administration is reviewing current mitigation measures, including those around contact sports, unquote. They went on to add that they'll make their decisions based on data and the advice of health experts, not on lawsuits.